Hello again, week eight. We are on now for cycle three science. And again, we are doing the My Body series where every week we're talking about different organs. In week 12, we'll put it all together. Um, like we touched base with last week, we know that um, our bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made. Every organ, whether we've heard about it before, whether we think it's important or not, has a purpose, has a function, a God-given creation. Um, and that's just a little bit of what we're going to get across to our kids. Just one or two quick facts that they may or may not remember, but just to pass the idea of wonder on. The more you know about our bodies, the more you learn about science, it's hard to dispute that it could not have just happened. So today we're talking about cells, pancreas, gallbladder, and spleen. All right, so cells, if you have any of these at home, these are just a great visual for cells. Cells are building blocks. They are building blocks of everything. So just like here, I've got these building blocks that have created a funky little tower. These building blocks have created a shark. These have created a little dune buggy thing. These building blocks create different things, even though they're all still blocks. Cells create different things. They're different types of cells that create different organs. There's cells in our skin, there's cells in our eyes, there's cells in our brain. Our blood, even being liquid, is made up of different kinds of blood cells. And so there are cells are the building blocks of everything. And so that is your main point you want to get across with cells. They are building blocks. And if you wanted to, if you haven't learned by now, I'm a visual person. So I love just having something to kind of click me with. Um, again, that these are all building blocks, but they create different things. God created different unique cells to carry um, different information for building different things in our body. Our cells are put together and glued together from this thing called laminin. You can look that up if you haven't heard that really cool um, devotional. So, cells are building, number one, building blocks for everything. We have over 37 trillion cells in our body. I can't even begin to really fathom what that number looks like. 37 trillion cells in our body. And again, they create different things, different cells. Um, third big point is that they also carry DNA. Just as the cells building blocks in this tower give it purple, red, white, orange, it gives it information, it gives it a look, different cells in our body carry our DNA. They give me blue eyes and the color of skin I have, the color of hair I have, um, the way my teeth formed, um, everything. Um, I carry DNA information um, throughout our body. So cells are pretty cool and very important because we would have nothing without cells. There is no coloring part for cells, but it is important to talk about because it is the foundation of everything we talk about. All right, so then our spleen is the next one. So our spleen, put up your fist, and our spleen is our germ fighter. And so I would have the kids punching in the air, spleen, and you could even spell spleen. S-P-L-E-E-N, spleen. Spleen is your fighter. Um, it's a germ fighter. It's part of our lymphatic system. Um, and it helps filter out and fight disease. It fights bacteria, viruses, abnormal cells. It gets rid of them, says you're not supposed to be here. And so the spleen is super important. Um, and so if you get across the message, our spleen is our fighter, then you'll realize how important it is. People li can live without a spleen, but they are much more susceptible to disease. They have to take all kinds of medicines, all kinds of preventative measures um, to prevent infection because they don't have their natural germ fighter. So our spleen, germ fighter, think that. Um, so number one, germ fighter. Number two, it's our filter. It also filters out our blood and like I said, um, gets rid of abnormal red blood cells um, and old cells that just aren't doing their job. The spleen helps to get rid of them um, so it can produce new ones. So anytime there's bacteria, viruses, your spleen fights it 
by creating new white blood cells to fight whatever new thing is in your body. So your spleen, again, your fighter. So you got cells that are your building block. You've got your spleen, that's your fighter. And then you've got your pancreas. Your pancreas has two main jobs. Number one job is that it produces insulin and glucagon. The insulin and glucagon help break down sugar. So the pancreas um, is super important to break down carbohydrates and sugar, which help our entire body um, kind of stay balanced and metabolized. Um, number two, it also helps produce enzymes which break down food in our small intestine. We'll find when we put it all together, the pancreas sits right beside our small intestine and helps um, put some enzymes along with the liver and gallbladder to break down our food. So pancreas produces insulin and glucagon to break down sugar. It also produces enzymes that it kind of pushes out into um, the small intestine to help break down food. Then we have the gallbladder. The gallbladder is a little pear-shaped thing. You can see from its job there. And it's filled with something called bile. Um, so if you have a little pear at home already with you, if it's already green or yellow, that's perfect because the gallbladder is a storage sack for bile, um, which is a green, yellow, um, kind of brownish, but mostly yellow, um, green fluid or enzyme that's produced by the liver to help break down food. So when you're eating the liver, the gallbladder, the pancreas are all producing enzymes to break that food down. Um, the gallbladder, specifically the bile, helps to break down fats. And so your gallbladder holds and stores that bile when it's not being used. So its main job, or cool things about it, is that it's pear-shaped, looks like a little pear, um, and it holds a green-yellow substance called bile. And that bile helps break down fat. Um, so color each after you talk about it, cut them out, and there's week eight.